must not be fooled. Thirty percent was not good. What happened when we were when we had thirty percent? We allowed the other seventy percent of the force to be managed based on what people thought was good forest management. What did that look like? We went out and we planted a lot of forest and we herbicided that forest. And what did it do? Over my 22 years, I can tell you what it did. And this is not pie in the sky. I flew every winter in helicopters and saw what was going on in the land base. I counted the deer. I know what happened out there. I know what's going on. This is not just pie in the sky things that some people are talking about. Herbicide kills hardwoods. And it kills hardwoods incredibly well. If you've not walked through a plantation and seen how little there is in a plantation, then you need to get out in the woods. Because her herbicides kill everything. We spray it in, uh, in uh, August and September because by then the softwood buds have closed up and it won't kill the softwoods. If we sprayed it at a different time, it would kill everything. And we found out from the... Actually, a lot of research has come out in the last few years that shows that glyphosate is two to three hundred times more toxic than we realized it was based on research 20 years ago. So there does need to be new science. People need to realize what the uh, uh, latest research says because it is not pretty. We spray 13,000 hectares every year. We're told it's 1%. Oh, it's only 1%. It's one measly percent. That's 13,000 hectares. That's 32,000 acres we spray every year. It kills all deer and moose food. And we wonder why our deer yards are vacant on Crown land. You wonder why you see deer in your backyards? It's because there's not much left in the woods. This is not rocket science. <laughs> They're going to keep throwing candy at us. They're talking about a five-day moose season. That's candy to keep you shut up. Oh, here you go. Here's another extra couple of days. It doesn't matter because this plan, I'm telling you, 30% was not enough. And we're going to get down to 23%. You, they can give you whatever you want for seasons and for harvest and for bag limits. There's going to be no animals left on crown land. It does not matter about that candy. <laughs> this new plan increases the amount of plantations. It increases the amount of what we call silviculture. That's a nice fancy word to say spraying herbicides that kill everything. It's going to increase. We're going to slaughter 278 deer yards. Under this new plan, they're gone forever. <laughs> this is my cookie. Everybody was supposed to bring a cookie. This is my cookie. Because it represents what's out there. You people, people need to understand these trees are massive. Okay? The stuff you see going on trucks right now, this little stuff, that's what they're cutting wherever they can get it. But the stuff that's left is huge. There's only one mill in the province that can process it. And they don't own it. What are they going to do with this big wood that we can get axe handles out of and saw logs out of? They're going to buy it at pulp wood prices and they're going to chip it. People, they need to realize what's happening with our resources. The last thing I want to say is, this issue is not about forestry. This issue is about freedom. Yeah! We have lost our freedom in this province. We will continue to have sailing of NB power, shale gas issues, forestry issues, because we as a people have lost our freedom. You need to take it back. We need to get our freedom back. And, this, and not just every four years. We need to have a voice at the table every time things like this come up. That has to change in this province. God bless.